South of London, right next to Crawley and down the road from Gatwick is ancient Worth Forest, once a hunting forest of the Saxon kings of the Shire of Sussex. At the heart of Worth Forest is Old House Warren, where ancient beech glades and gnarled forest oaks grow next to Scots pine, Norway spruce, Sitka spruce, Japanese larch, Douglas fir, Grand fir, Western red cedar and sweet chestnut. Worth Forest is mostly forbidden to the public, though it is as large as Ashdown Forest and grows so close to crowded urban areas. Only a few Crawley folk have ever been to Old House Warren, and many of us have never even heard its name. And our lack of knowledge of this lovely place has emboldened its owners to think they can plan its profitable destruction, for what the eye doesn't see, the heart will not grieve. Old House Warren is deeply threatened, for its private owners and centre parks are cobbling together a plan to build a gigantic urban leisure development, a new commercial leisure town in forest which has survived here for many thousands of years. 900 holiday houses, shopping plaza, subtropical water paradise, restaurants, amusements, roads, car parks and traffic are planned for those who can afford the price and for the profit of its owners. This is the home of goshawk and glowworms, lily of the valley, bog pimpernel, heathers, dainty elfin-sized bellflowers and scented mountain fern, where woodcock and bats fly in the orange glow of summer dusk, the nightjar starts up his churring, and owls hoot to their companions. It is a place of marsh tits and redstart, crossbill and rare woodpeckers, bluebells and rare dragonflies, and tiny hiding plants, mosses and liverworts that cling on here in their last redoubts from the temperate rainforest that covered our land seven long millennia ago. A centre park there will rip the heart out of Worth Forest, the biggest stretch of ancient woodland in the centre of the Wealdon Vale, an area which is meant to be as well protected as a national park. Behind our backs they plan to trash what we have never been allowed to know and love and enjoy. It doesn't have to be like that. Epping Forest, next to East London, was also nearly destroyed 150 years ago by its greedy landowners. But a people's campaign, allied to the City of London, fought for and saved the forest. Now Epping Forest is both a haven for nature and a people's forest. It used to be called the Cockney Paradise. What does Epping Forest mean to me? Uh, I live in Bethnal Green, which is a half hour's drive from here, and it's one of the most glorious open spaces that London has to offer. Uh, and I, f I love showing people around this Epping Forest and you know, this is my forest as well as everybody else's, and I absolutely love it here. Uh, it would be uh, a, an absolute disaster, and uh, hopefully it would galvanise the people to fight it tooth and nail, and I certainly would be amongst those. Old House Warren and Worth Forest could be that to the people of Crawley, Middle Sussex and South London, accessible to all, with nature protected, nurtured and loved. A people's forest for us all.